Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a pixel dispersion, a complete tutorial. Most of the people think about that if I am using Photoshop actions then I don't know about Photoshop. So uh, I know much about Photoshop so from now I will try my best to create a complete tutorial so we don't need any more Photoshop actions. Well, I know we cannot stop uh, that action work because uh, most of the people know about that uh, we, I provide Photoshop premium actions free of cost. So yes, in between these uh, complete tutorials, I will upload some major Photoshop actions which are most famous and trendy and I will upload them here so you could be easily understand and get those from here also. So, but I will try my best to make complete tutorials because it's much better to teach you a complete thing so in this video uh, but before we start uh, uh, I'm sorry about my previous video because I forgot to turn on my uh, mic which was uh, my headphone mic it was it is pretty much amazing and perfect uh, I am using a studio 4 headphones and uh, they are amazing uh, giving great audio output and uh, in previous video i was uh, mistakenly using using um, my laptop internal mic so it was very horrible while i was recording i thought that my recorder is working but in the end when i was editing my video and i see i listen and uh, i was shocked so i'm sorry about that but now i have turned this on properly and i have double checked that so let's uh, get start our fun with photoshop and uh, when you will finish this video you maybe get this type of output or you can get this type of output so for this tutorial i'm going to use this image and uh, these outputs are pretty much nice and amazing you can see that looks great and cool i love these so we'll start from uh, scratch as we know this is the uh, basically uh, the original image let me show you this is the original image and I just cut it out from the background and just applied some masks and uh, I just make it PNG totally so it would be easy to uh, we don't waste our time on completing or erasing this because your time is important important so I'm using this uh, already cropped image so you can crop your images like this and we will simply just uh, create any document here so let's just close this one and let's just start and we'll create a new document from here make sure that size of the document is 9020 by 1080 pixels and 72 pixels per inch we will increase it to 300 uh, so it could be easier for us oops sorry 300 it's a transparent I don't want to use any background and we'll name this as uh, dispersion nice now we'll click on create nice so now we need a background so we'll simply just go to this adjustments panel and go to gradient from the gradient we will click on gradient palette from the palette we'll select black to white and I want to change my background so we'll make it a little a little uh, gray color 61 61 61 is pretty much nice then I want to make it a little matte color like this it okay it okay make it reverse and click on radial so you can see that it will look like this but you can see we don't want this circle so we'll change the angle to 0% and now it looks nice so click on ok we have our background we name this as bg now we will use this image and drag it here you can see it's very bigger before we do anything we'll just convert it to smart object and that's nice now we'll press ctrl t and we'll center this and now we'll size it down to make it look like better for our this tutorial so i think it's nice and we'll place it where it looks nice I think it's nice here and maybe we should rotate this a little bit or not what you say I think we should rotate this looks amazing here so 
check mark and we need to stop here now the basic work is done now we'll name this layer or yes we name this uh, later first uh, we will create three copies of it so we we'll press ctrl j and j now we have three copies well now we'll name this layer as model one then the second layer name should be model two and the third layer should be model three so that's it now we'll turn off first two layers and we'll select the uh, model one layer and on this layer we will press alt make sure your foreground color is black to white or default you can see that you can click on this area and uh, you will uh, press alt and click on this mask thumbnail it is uh, gone no more worry about that just go to properties or if you don't have properties just go to windows and click on properties p for properties here and from here we will uh, click on uh, density to 85 or 80 percent to make it uh, visualize so it could be visible for us now we'll click on this layer box thumbnail we'll press brush and now we will use our square brush so how we can get these square brushes is simple just go to uh, gearbox click on basic brushes click on ok now we have only these brushes but go to settings go to square brushes and click on append now you will see we have square brushes so we'll click on the bigger one which is 24 pixel size and now we'll uh, press f5 or open your brushes settings oops sorry these are not brush settings uh, these are brushes now we'll go to brush tips and shapes uh, we'll increase the spacing to about like uh, 160 I think it's uh, probably nice uh yep yeah, it's nice so we will use this now we click on shape dynamics and we'll increase the jitter size and then we will go to scatting and we will change its uh, size to 1000 percent then close and now we are ready now we'll size it a little up and we will uh use this but before using this make sure you have a white foreground color and now we can do this but you can see the size is very much bigger so what we'll do is we'll size it down about 90 pixels and do it like this but make sure that your opacity is 100 percent so we'll undo that and make sure our opacity is 100 percent and just brush over the area you want to make it dispersed so we'll do it quickly uh yep yeah, it's nice nice here and now we will select our second layer turn this on but before doing that click on this layer mask and click on properties again and we'll simply just make the density to about 100 percent now it's only visible this area now we'll move to the second layer we'll turn this on and we'll press alt and again click on layer mask it will create a black layer mask on it select this layer go to filter and go to liquify from here you will see that we have our uh, character simply just select the freeze mask uh, it's a pretty much nice tool size it up and select those area which you don't want to affect with liquify so I don't want to affect this uh, side because we want to keep it and like this that's very very much cool so i don't want to lose this side so i have created a nice effect here that's it now what we'll do is uh, we'll select our smudge tool we'll size up the area and we will make it uh, outside looks horrible i know that <laughs> but we have to do that because this is our effect so let's just make it out a little bit not hand only actually it looks uh, horrible at this time we'll size it down a little bit and we'll make it a little outside like this looks great and uh, this side is also nice 
looks great here and I think I am fine with this setting so great now simply just click on ok and now we have our liquify area but if you want to see press alt and click on it oops sorry press shift and click on it this is the liquefied area just shift again and uh, you will see it's uh, vis invisible now we'll size it up select the dispersion brushes which we have used on this image select the black change the focal color to white and now it's time to make the dispersion so make the dispersion but before you make this again select your layer mask click on properties and we'll again size it down to about 80 percent so we could see where we are so nicely done that's a great thing make it random don't make it too much because it looks uh, bad when you make it uh, much bigger so try to use small brushes like this just a little bit bigger don't worry and now we'll use these kind of small dispersions so i have done my work like this it looks nice and now we'll go to properties again oops sorry select the layer mask and go to properties and we'll change the density to up back to 100 percent looks nice if you don't like these big pixels you can erase them later for the time being we'll leave them as they are and now it's time to move to the third layer this is the basic layer and uh, select this layer and we will not press alt we will just simply press this layer mask and it will create a white layer mask now what you will do is we will select a normal uh, square brush you can select the size by your choice size it down and now uh, you can invisible the area which you want to be selected but before you do anything else ch ch just change our foreground color to black and now we can just brush it out like this just make it random so it could look much nicer so there we have uh, we are about to complete this process and now you can see that these big pixels are not look so good so what we will do is we will select the second layer change the foreground color to white or black and we will simply just hide them out like this not so much big pixels are good now uh, like this one also now what we'll do is we'll simply just uh, select the white color select that bigger si size brush sorry select brushes again increase the spacing between this and shape dynamics 200% sketching 200% close and now we'll target again but size it down this time so we'll fill the space nicely that looks great you can see that this uh, dispersion is limit uh, stopped here uh, because we, our mask is still here so we'll stop it here and uh, yes that's nice greatly done and now simply what we'll do is uh, we need to give some colors and make it adjustments in center so we'll select both of three layers move them into center like this and uh, we can do some more basic things like we'll give some colors so we'll create a pattern or oh sorry gradient or before doing anything else I, I forgot some to add something we want to add some squares in the picture so we'll select third model third layer go to filter filter gallery from the gallery uh, we'll go to texture from this we'll select patchwork and I would like to use the size about uh, two or uh, I think four or two is nice yes two is nice relief uh, I would like to use about like uh, four okay so click on okay I will see it applied on this layer select this uh, filter smart filter layer uh, thumbnail press brush tool open this up and I uh, will select a soft round brush change the opacity to about 70 percent 
and uh, now we'll simply just oops sorry select this filter layer and select black layer uh, black color as foreground color and now we will brush out the area and we will leave these edges as square you can see that looks nice and we are about to done now we we'll simply just go to this adjustment layer create a uh, gradient and i will add a gradient file you will download that and you can use it on your images it will a nice color just click on ok and we'll make it soft light or overlay it's a choice so i will leave it as soft light and now we can change the colors our choice color so i would like to go with this color and we'll make it a little radial so you can make it reverse or make it this color so i think it's nice so click on ok and we are done i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning